appear to be... Oh, oh, I think we might have a male lion. Family review center while we try and get ourselves a nice position to see which male of the musketeer lion... Hello, Scar. Hello, my boy. Gave me a dirty look as I pulled up. Um, maybe that's just his poor old face. There we go, everybody. Sorry, hold on, family review center. One second. There we go, everyone. The magnificent Scarface himself. Iconic with, I think, one of the best hairstyles of the Mara male lines. So while he dozes away, family review center's question. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Your question was on where we are, and is it a protected area where only certain people can drive? Yes and no. So yes, of course, it is, a, it is very much a protected area, and these animals are very, very well protected in that sense. However, people can come and visit. They can drive their own vehicles in a very, way very similar to the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Provided they pay their gate fees, they can come in and they can drive themselves around. There are lots and lots of tourists who come into this area to view the lions, whether they drive themselves or whether they go with a tour company or whether they're staying with a lodge. All of that provides an income that is then used to keep this area protected. So it's important. There's a huge amount of maintenance that goes into keeping a reserve protected. Everything from roads to uh, ranges to make sure that there's no poachers wandering about. In, the, in this particular area, veterinary care for the injured animals. There's lots and lots of things, lots and lots of thought and planning and um, effort that goes into protecting these animals. So yes, whilst it is a protected area, lots of people do drive around here. And of course, this is high season due to the fact that the migration is in the area. More people, more eyes to find us animals. So there you go.